Elvis Figueroa. I'm a box out of Boxing and Faith Inc. I'm ranked number one in the nation. My record is 18 and three. And this is my story. When I was young, I used to go to a lot of fights, a lot of shows, and I never got a fight. I was always like, just sitting there, like without fighting. I weigh in, get off the scale, go to, like go to where we were sitting down, and after like a few minutes, they'll tell me, "Oh, you're not fighting," and like that made me real mad, and like, and like, it made me think that I was never gonna fight. So I started, I started to cry. I cried a lot, like every time I went. Uh, every day today, coming here, going through the pains, the sometimes crying. At, at one point in his career, he, he cried. He he bled through his nose, and. He, he continues to, to, to have that love for, for the sport, to have that love to, to be number one. Um, I know he suffered a lot, and um, he used to do a lot of exercise. He used to cry. I was in the gym, and like after a few months, I saw myself losing weight. And like it made me want to train more and be in the gym more, even though I didn't like it. I saw myself progressing, and like it just, it just like hit me that like I really need to do this. Luis Rosa one day called me, it was on a Saturday. He was like, hey, um, Elvis, um, your son is gonna fight. And um, I was like, oh, for real? He was like, yeah, I got a match for him. When I told him that he was gonna fight, he was so happy. He was like going crazy. He was like, wow, I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna fight. like a dream come true. I wanted to fight for like so long and it just happened that day. For the kid with like eight fights. It was my first fight and I was like, I was nervous. I was like so excited that I like, I couldn't believe it. So my first fight, I was, I was like doing my, like doing my thing and I won. In my wallet, I carry I carry a picture of when I was fat and like now when I'm skinny, like because every time like I open it up, it shows me how much I progressed, how much like how hard I trained to like to lose weight, to get fights, and just like it just brings back a lot, a lot of memories, because I just like see myself now and then, and there's like a huge, huge change to lose weight and like get all the like get all the fights I have now. So it's like, it made like a real turning point in my life. I'm 17 and three. I have three Silver Glove champion medals that I won over the, the three times that I went. I got this, this one from, from the Nationals when I went to Alabama that I placed first in the nation. And from all, from all these medals and all the other ones I got, I got, a, I got awarded to be the, the best boxer of the year. I'm, I'm in the Hall of Fame in Mohegan Sun. When it was time to fight in the Silver Gloves in Lake Placid in New York, I fought well. I fought like the first round. I fought very really good with, my, with both my hands. And then I hit, him with, I hit him with a hard right hand and like my hand just started to hurt. Like I couldn't close it or nothing. So my only option was to keep on fighting with one hand because I wasn't going to quit. I wasn't gonna show my, my corner. I wasn't gonna show my opponent that I was, that I was gonna quit on him. I was, so I just kept on fighting with one hand and I still pulled out the victory even though I was fighting with one hand. And like, it, it showed me that like never to give up inside the ring. Even if you can't use one hand, you always got the other one to back you up. Then I went to Moby, Alabama. That was in the Junior Olympic Nationals. I won the first night. I beat a kid from California. The second night, I beat a kid, another kid from California, and then the, I won. I went. I moved on to the championship round, and I beat a kid who was like 30 and two. He had the title for like two years, and like it was, I was like the I was like the the underdog in there. So I went, and we fought and fought and fought, and I pulled out the victory. And like it, I was like number one in the nation after that. From there. Um, I advanced to Russia. It was my first international experience. We was over there for like two weeks, 
And for that first week, it was training five, time, five times a day, every day. From there, the following week, we fought the whole week too. I fought like three times again. It was, my, it was like my second time fighting like one after another. It was, it was intense, but I still made it through. After the whole team fighting and winning, we played second in the world. From me coming up, like I, really, I, like, I put my heart into it. And like, I showed that I really like, want to be somebody in this sport. It's been uh, eight years since uh, Elvis Figueroa has been with me as a fighter, as a student. Today, he helps me with all these uh, young students that are coming into, that want, that want what he has today. He, uh, he helps me around with the, with the fighters. He encourages them. He lets them know that where he's at today, and he also lets them know where he was uh, eight, uh, eight years ago when he started, when he was obese. He helps them with the pad work. He mentors them in, in the bag. He encourages, if he gets in the ring with them, he, he don't beat up, up, he don't beat up on them. He takes it lightly. He makes sure that he talks to them while he's punching on them and they punching on him. And uh, he's always here, you know, uh, Monday through Saturday, Elvis Figueroa is in the gym.